let's talk about my favorite face makeup products not eyeshadows not lipsticks for 2019 subjective you might hate some of these things or like something that isn't on this list these things you know differ from person to person just putting that out there the first thing is from benefit it is the cheek leaders palette the bronze board palette uh, all of these I have reviewed on my channel whatever I haven't uh, I will talk about at greater length here um, I since I've already reviewed these you know I don't want to sit here and you know go into each one again we'll never finish and what I will do is I will link my reviews on my channel in the description box below or over here so do head over and you know check out those reviews if you're interested in seeing swatches demos uh my thoughts in detail and that sort of thing now this one there are two editions i got the bronze edition this one contains the hula caramel bronzer uh in addition to the regular hula bronzer it also contains their new highlighter in the shade cookie and the coral star blush and gold rush i removed the gold over spray over gold brush and made it a more palatable blush on me as it were. This is my, probably my absolute favorite face palette alongside Hourglass Unlocked from last year. Right, Hourglass Unlocked this year is the exact same thing as last year's. However, why is it joint favorite, you ask? Because there's a difference. Hourglass Unlocked has those all over the face finishing powders that, uh, blur your face that soften your face that reflect light that play with light that bring out the depth and dimension of your face they're not just you know blushes and, i mean there are blushes bronzers highlighters but there are also this all over the face finishing powders in this case there's no finishing powder they're just straightforward bronzers and blushes and a highlighter that is all that is there you can't you know apply any of these all over the face unless you want to so my review i will link in the description box below really nice stuff do check it out i love that eye primer is next and this is a very surprising product um i used to love the cap von d uh high voltage eye primer it held my eyeshadow very well and it also did a great job of controlling oil on my eyelids it also it did a very good job of you know hiding the broken capillaries or you know the capillaries actually on my lids on my skin these two, all three, and I, first of all, with Cap 1D, discontinued that product. Secondly, I no longer support Cap 1D because I can't support an anti-vaxxer because anti-vaxxer has almost finished me off. An aunt of mine did not vaccinate her children, and by my first birthday, before I could get the MMR vaccine, I had got measles, mumps, and rubella from my cousin as a baby before my first birthday even and they weren't very pleasant my mom my grandparents my dad my aunt who was you know living with her and my grandparents at the time she wasn't married they all tell me the story of those days how bad it was and my aunt's diary had you know in-depth descriptions of how the baby was suffering the Australian because you know German measles or regular measles or mumps or from the anti-vaxxer aunt's uh, carelessness so i can never support an anti-vaxxer so i no longer support cap one so i've been looking for a good primer and these are from revolution they are the cut crease canvas and i've got two here this one is create and this one is etch uh now you can see that the shades are different this one is for deeper eyeshadows and this one is for lighter eyeshadows making the you know shimmery and lighter shades pop this one and both do a very good job in providing a completely smooth finished well covered clean canvas and controlling oil during the day so i love them i might get one more of each actually the next is a product that i never thought i'd love i bought it for a lark and I ended up loving it so much that it will be my holy grail contour product for a very long time. It is from Huda Beauty. It is the Tantor. My review in the description box below and here. It looks very scary. I know very, 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 very scary. How on earth is that going to look decent on me, you ask? How on earth is that ever going to blend out? All answers are in my review. Do check it out.
it does an amazing job giving me cheekbones. It is possibly the only product that actually gives me cheekbones. <laughs> the next one is a product that's very like something we've seen before, but you know, the purpose is very different. And I think it's bloody genius. It is the Marc Jacobs Accomplice review in the description box. Basically, it is a touch-up stick, which I think is bloody genius. So during the day when my foundation breaks up, all I do is touch up with this and then pat in or use a little brush. My favorite, Sephora Airbrush Concealer Brush number 57. Ideal, flawless finish. So demo, including of my touching up, of my using this all over the face, all in the description box below. Love this thing. I do wish more brands would come out with something like touch-up sticks instead of, you know, more highlighters and eyeshadow palettes. Love this. So, particularly if you're somebody who wears spectacles and, you know, get those marks during the day, this is really good stuff. Particularly if you're oily and your foundation uh, breaks up during the day or, you know, your concealer breaks up in your under eye areas, this is marvelous for touching up. The next thing it's a blush. It is my. It is the only Korean blush not to look ashy on me. It is from Romand. It is their Better Than Cheek blush from the Anne of Green Gables collection. It's a very vibrant orange hue that I was using all summer on this very channel. You can see it a lot, a lot, a lot. I will link my demo in the description box below, obviously. Um, I wore it so, you know, when I had those roses as my background, this gave me roses on my cheeks as well. Loved it so much. Uh, some of you actually told me that it looked, I looked very old fashioned makeup wise, but that was okay. I liked how I looked and that's what's important. You should like how you look. So love this blush. The next is an eyebrow product, obviously from Benefit who own the brow game these days. This is their brow styler. I did a review of this very recently, description box. The thing is, there is a pencil at one end and a powder at the other end. This gives me stronger brows than any other product without being overkill, without being alien, without being, oh my God, what is wrong with her? -ness. For everyday brows, I prefer Benefit's Gimme Brow. For stronger brows, I like Benefit Brow Styler. So if you're looking for very strong eyebrows, particularly you know, for the new year or you know, the party season or something, Brow Styler, everyday Gimme Brow. The next is an eyelash glue. I know I haven't got around reviewing this one. I will very shortly, I promise. This is the only product in here that I need to review very soon for you, Lord. This is from Huda Beauty. This is her Sticky Tag Lash Glue. And it contains exactly two products, acrylates, copolymer, and water. And it is entirely latex-free. So if you have an allergy to latex, this is the lash glue. Um, there used to be an uh, Eyelure lash adhesive which was latex free it's this one the problem is i bought two not at the same time one after the other and both dried up on me despite my closing the cap tightly so i wasn't too happy this one very watery watery stuff now this one has a bit of a difference it is restickable or reusable so what you do is in case you've made a mistake for about 40 minutes you can refix your lashes without any problems without reapplying the glue. Love that. The only niggling issue that I have with this one is that it's way too watery. So when I apply the glue on the lash, as you will see in my review, which is coming soon, hopefully, that I end up getting product, not only on my fingers, but also on the floor or on my lap or whatever, on my desktop vanity. So it's too watery. I'd like to see, you know, a different kind of applicator, maybe something like the Eyelure with the Dofoot or, you know, something else that will prevent wastage of product there. Lastly, a foundation, the only foundation that I bought this year, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. It's decent, right? It's decent. The only thing is I prefer the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation more because it's better for oily skin. For non-oily skin, for not very oily skin, and if you're looking for a lighter feel, the coverage is the same, don't worry. If you're looking for a lighter feel, this one's better. So being very honest here, my review you can see linked in the description box, including demos of both, including comparisons of the two. It reminds me a great deal of the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. 
but you know i prefer armani par fabric so if you like armani luminous silk you're gonna love this if you don't love armani luminous silk if you prefer something else from armani par fabric or something then you know you might want to try the magic foundation which is thicker which is heavier which is equal coverage which is better for oily skin which is more matte one runner-up product simply because of how convenient it is natasha denona mini bronze and glow got in my cult beauty advent calendar very tiny little thing that you can sneak into your bag ideal for touch-ups very pretty bronzer and highlighter both ideal for my skin tone love it this is just a, a sort of also run product it's not you know a main top eight product another also run revolution glitter glue and possibly the reason for my doing different kinds of you know bolder eyeshadow looks and for my using various all, all the eyeshadows from palettes you know because i used to avoid pressed glitters pressed pigments with this one i don't avoid anything anymore so this is the reason i have actually demoed this in a couple of looks when i was doing palette previews so if you want to see i'll try and find out where the links are and you know dig them up yeah so those are my top eight face makeup products not counting lipsticks not counting eyeshadow palettes for 2019 what are yours i would love to know do tell me in the comments below did you not like anything this year if so please do tell me that as well i'd love to know either way you know let's have a discussion keeping it pleasant keeping it drama free either way so that's all from me for today thank you for watching this video please do give me a thumbs up please do hit the subscribe button please do ring the notifications bell and i'll speak to you soon